Hello. Hey, Priscilla. Hey, Sean. How are you? I'm still breathing. So, um, I hear your message, and I don't have an idea who called 911 for you. I don't know. And, um, I think so if you, I, I don't know, actually. I think if you, uh, I'm not working today. Um, You're not working? You no, I'm not working today. Ah. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'll, I'll be there. But if you want to talk to the manager. Um, and yeah, sure. Because, uh, because I don't know, maybe, and maybe, any barista will know if, if they call because they supposed to. They shouldn't do that call, you know? Yeah. Well, I don't know. See, I'm confused by it, too, because the officers told me that uh, um, somebody who worked there called me in this morning. I literally, yeah. I yeah, I showed up about 20 minutes early. Um, sometimes I'm late, sometimes I'm early, but, yeah, I, I wasn't sleeping there. Uh. Um, I, I, sometimes I forget it's the weekend. This time I didn't forget it was the weekend. I just, I looked at the wrong phone and it's a couple hours ahead. Do you know who's working today? No, I don't know. Uh. Maybe, I don't know. I have to check who's working today. But I don't know who opened. All I right. I opened yesterday, but I changed, I don't work and I change my schedule with anybody, with somebody else. But today, um, I have to see who is working to, uh, today because I don't know. All right. I thought that I didn't say somebody called before. They said somebody called before? I, I thought that you are asking for who called, called them the police before. Nobody called the police not, before. Not, they just showed up to harass no, me. No, that is because you, I thought, I understand in my Spanish English that you say that somebody called it the 911 before, not today. And now I understand it today. Because no, before they didn't, we, we before. Should, we shouldn't do that call, though. Before, they didn't, they didn't call 911 last time. That was the problem, is nobody called 911. They just showed up to harass me. But if you could, uh, oh. yeah, if you could find out who it is that, uh, is working this morning and have them call me back. Um, that would be much appreciated. But where are you at now? Um, I'm at uh, the come and go. Um, they gave me a criminal trespass warning and told me oh. if I go back to the Starbucks that they're gonna arrest me. Oh, oh I see. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's weird. So you even cannot go to Starbucks? I can't go to Starbucks. They gave me a criminal trespass warning for going there. That's why I was calling oh, you. Oh, that's weird. It is weird. That's why I was wanting to call and uh, see who it is that called it in. Or oh. see if anybody there even did call it in. And see if the story that they... Uh, if nobody at the Starbucks called it in, I wanted to see if the story that the police told them is the same as the story that they told me. Because they told me that one of the employees called me in. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm like in, in blank. I don't have an idea. But, um, yeah, that is where there is a public place. And then you cannot go, it's weird. So. I agree. Is there any way that you could call the Starbucks and ask them? Let them know what's going on and see if that officer was telling the truth? Because if he's telling the truth, I'm not going to go back to Starbucks. But if he's not telling the truth, then I'm going to go down to the police station. Oh, okay. Alright. Well, let me, let me do what I can do, okay? Alright, do you know how long it'll take? I don't know. I don't know because they are busy and they and thought it probably probably um I don't know if they will tell me that 
you know. Um, if they do, whoever it is, I don't think so. Uh, we are allowed to do something like that, like barista. Like I never will call 911. I will call for 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 extremely for extremely, you know, like issues. I should call, but I shouldn't call for somebody fucking there. Yeah, that's what I was told too. I was told by um, Gracie and also by um, uh, Christian and Austin that nobody's going to call it in. It's fine for me to stay there as long as I'm not disturbing anybody. Um, but I, I haven't stayed there since Gracie. Like, I, I literally yeah. have not. Um, but I was wondering... Yeah, my concern, my concern is that they will not tell me if they call or not. They won't? You know? They will not tell me if they call or not call the police. Because it's not my business to say somehow, you know? It's not my, not my problem, so they will not tell me if they call or not. Is somebody calling? They said that uh, one of the employees called it in. Yeah, so the employees today is just, they open, always we open two people there. Yep, there are two people there. So I was, yes, I was so gonna, if, matter of fact, I don't, I just wanted to know if you could call in and see if they did call me in. If they called 911, um. Okay, that is my problem, that is, that is what I want to try to explain, Sean. It's like, if I call in, I call, um, the shift today. And I tell, and I tell, if that is true that they call, they will not tell me. They will not accept it. And if it's true, they will say, well, yeah, but it's not, it's not your business if you let you call. And it's not my, it's, it's what they do, you know. And whoever it is open today. I, that is what I think, that they will not tell me. All right. Um... You know. And if any the police lie, uh, nothing more to say to do. I mean, at least you have an honor, you have other servers maybe, and and maybe just waiting for how long they say so you don't you can't go. Well, that's the thing is that if they did this illegally, those cops are bad cops, and they need to not be on the force. But uh, do you have the? It doesn't say for how long. It says, um, I, J. Mule, or J. Mall, an officer of the Cheyenne Police Department, do hereby warn Sean Schwartz not to enter upon the land or premises described as 2111 Central Starbucks location. Okay, so it's just that one. It's not the other one. Right. Um, it also says, I, Alexander... P. Davenport, being the property manager owner of Starbucks, located at 2011 Central Avenue, requests the members of the Cheyenne Police Department to disperse and issue criminal trespass warnings to persons or groups. Who's Alexander? Yeah, yeah that's weird. Now, now, you know, another thing that I that you can do, like, keep in peace. Try to breathe, and we will have a full manager in two weeks. Not this week, uh, seven, eight, the eighth, Monday eighth. So maybe you can talk to her. It's a really nice lady. For everybody said, so maybe you can go there and talk to her and say and, and tell her what's going on and and that you know that you can go or sleep there and blah blah blah. Well, I don't sleep there. I always sleep at the Walmart. But who's Alexander Davenport? I've never heard of him. Oh, Alexander? Yeah. Alex. Really? Alex. Uh, yeah, that is Alexander. Oh, he's open today then. Alex called it in? Alex is, is, is the this. Supervisor today, maybe. All right. Well, in that case, Alex I'm. Is Alex, Alex is Alexander. Yep, I get it now. 
Yep. Well, Alexander was wrong about me staying the night there. Um, yeah, but, but like I said, like, well, don't take it personal, please. I'm not. Talk to the manager. You know, and talk to the manager. She's, she's a super nice lady, and you can talk to her, like, if you guys can take that restriction out. Because I think that if, that, if, if Alex do that, or whoever is, and even if nobody do, and then the police do that report to you, and, you know, people are people. <laughs> yep. So, so you know, you what what more you can do? Wait, and maybe if that's a cold or that's a like whatever you have to wait. Let the let the water get calm, and um, and talk to the manager later. And I can call you when she when she's on the floor when she's on there, and you can go there, and I will talk to her and I will tell her what is going on and that you want to talk to her. She yes, probably will say yes, and and even if, if at least at least take the restriction out, and even if you go to other Starbucks, whatever, we will miss you anyway. But um, at least they can take the restriction out, you know. All right. Well, I was just wondering. It it says on the paperwork, Alex. So, Alex did call it in. I'm I'm pretty sure. Um, Okay, I don't know. I don't but know, but I want to. I want to like make Alex, sure. Alex, if, if, sorry, if 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 it's Alex, Alex have really um, strong personality and really not difficult, but really. They, I know if he's here working today, and I call him and I ask, he will shut my mouth and say, "This is not your business." Yeah. I know that. I know that. So. In 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 if it's him, I don't know. Well, I I did not. Him. I didn't stay the night there last night. I don't stay the night there any night. And I asked permission to stay there late. And you know, I I, I usually stay at the Walmart. That's where I sleep. So there's a lot of mornings that I'm not there when you guys open. And you tell and you tell the police that you was early there because you forgot that is that they open a five. Well, it, see, that's the thing is I I didn't forget that they open at five. Um, I I just have one of my phones. It has the wrong time on it, so I looked at that one, and uh, so when I I pulled up, it was just a little bit early. But I I usually pull up early anyway. I don't understand why why Alex wouldn't come talk to me or or ask yeah, me about know. it. Yeah, I don't know because I saw I saw. Um... Yeah, that is, that is wrong because I know and I learn and few in the training. Remember that I, that I was doing training? That I was so mad? <laughs> Remember that day that I was doing some training in the computer? Yeah. Yeah, that I was like a little bit serious because I'm like super tired doing the training. Um, I learned that we shouldn't call the police just for, for that. I mean, in a... And it's for other stuff, like robbery or, like, you know, like, big deal. Right. That's why I was wondering if you could call him and ask. Like, I, I, yeah. I believe uh, I believe that I, that Alex signed it. I just, I have a hard time believing that he would call it in to 911. Because it's against the Starbucks policy. Um, yeah. I, it's been explained to me by a bunch of employees. So I'm... I'm I'm thinking that the officers went in there and tried to tell Alex that I had committed a criminal act, um, yeah. but I hadn't. And you know what? Maybe, and maybe um, you can search more about that, and, and maybe, well, um, talk to the corporation, maybe? That can, that can be helpful help to you too yes ma'am well is there any way that you could call alex because that is against starbucks policy and even if he tells you that it's not your business i mean it, at least it's an effort okay thank you ma'am all right well talk to you later all right could you call me back as soon okay. as you talk to him i will i will call them back i will call you back i mean all right thank you Bye, Priscilla. Bye.
Well, we'll see what happens with this.